Uncharted Red Star System. You know what we should do? We should run an anomaly detector while we're here. Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Where we're gonna go ahead and get a Guild Envoy gift, right? A oh, mind control device. Well, that's spiffy, but we have a few of those and we don't even really need them anymore, so I think we're just gonna get rid of 75,000 units in our inventory. No, I, I want to stick with the original plan that we talked about in the last episode, which was I want to visit older bases and potentially decommission them. So let's see. Uh, if I don't, if it's in the back of the list, I think it's been the longest since we've been there, and I don't, I don't know what all of them are. So let's let's begin. Let's begin just with the with the back, and we'll we'll try to run through them pretty quick. Okay, so already I can tell this was pre-power infrastructure. Uh, we have a large refiner. What do we have in here? Nothing. Nothing. Tra-la-la. Ooh. Very old. Oh, a nutrient processor. You don't say. Mm, yeah. We'll just leave that as is. Construction research unit. Fairly certain we have all of these 100% researched. In fact, I know that we do. Um, and let's see where uh, we have a landing pad. What is this place? I don't remember this base. So we're dealing with yellow, yellow nebula. Does that say particularly oily? Those birds are particularly oily? That's funny. We have an Exocraft summoning station. Clearly, clearly an old holdover. This base was never properly named. How interesting. A landing pad just out here in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what to make of this location. You know what? I'm tempted to actually... Hold on. Ancient Bones. It's a high wealth system. Indium. Temperate planet on a blue star system. High wealth, ancient bones. Uh, yeah, that sounds familiar. Ya pert foe? Was it for the ancient bones? Surely not. Okay, well first things first, let's take a moment to call down the Titanfaller. Thank you, and let's get our last engine upgrade placed. Boom. I don't know how much that's really going to help it. Oof, boy, it can, it can really jump now, but I feel like walking is not much of an improvement. But that jetpack, whoa, that's pretty intense. Now somebody asked if we were able to loot, if we were able to loot things without getting out of the Titanfaller, and I'm not, we are, so that's, okay, that's gonna be a really good thing to know in our, uh, our permadeath playthrough. It's not so important here though, and especially not so important here on this planet. Look at that though. Alright, that does, and it recharges quick. Okay. 
All right, I I do accept those terms, uh, although it's sort of gee whiz for us right now. Mm, what I mean by that is it's really just for um just for the fun of it. I don't know if I want this base to stay here. And we didn't even go check out the other planet. I think if it's not obvious to me right away, no power hotspot, no mineral hotspot, and C-class atmospheric, I'm thinking it has to go away. Right? Like, what the heck? Let's be more deliberate with our bases than this. It's not even powered. And just like that, it was done. I will reclaim that as well, please and thank you. Oh no. There we go. Just had to hop up there to get on it. Alright, so we'll travel to the nearest space station, which is right over here. Actually, let's give a scan. What sort of planet is this over here? Ooh, a cold one. A nice cold planet. I'll, I'll we'll just take a peek. We'll just look. I mean, it's a glacial planet. All right, well, let's hit the space station. I, I don't know. It. It's like. It's like cleaning out an old closet full of stuff that you didn't know was there. It's like, I'm sure it seemed like it had value at one time, and you don't know if you want to get rid of it, but then when you do, it's almost like a weight off your shoulders. You know? So much do I feel like there are metaphors for life all throughout this, uh... Ooh. Oh my! That is um, a little bit of an argument, actually. I know an argument when I see one. In fact, so does this Gek. This Gek is also like, wow, what's the uh, what's the beef, guys? All right, well, don't start no trouble, won't be no trouble. That's what I always say. Mm, no dihydrogen jelly. I'm content to just leave the rest of it alone. Uh, although, no, no, I will... No, I don't even want to... Don't even want to talk to the guild envoy. I'm so beyond it. What's next? Mashi... Mashi colony. Look at all these pages of bases. Do we really need all of these? There's probably only, like, three that are worth anything. Um, corrosive sleet storms... This base has power. Interesting. Let's uh, let's clean up all the dirt that's formed in here, shall we? I don't like that. Come on, come on. We can sweep this up. It, it just takes a second. All right. So let's. All right. We're settled right here on a power location. Huh. Uh-oh, hold up. What do we have over here? Oh, tell me this is a... Nitrogen. A nitrogen base. Of course, because it's a toxic planet. Well, it's not... I mean, I... It's okay. So we have nitrogen. I am tempted to... Huh. 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 Well, we certainly don't 
need the nitrogen, but since we already have a nitrogen base, I'm inclined to... No, why don't we wait un... Well... I'm like, more storage would be better, and this is obviously way back in the early days of Beyond. I respect this. I respect this base as a whoa. Whoa, oxygen. Something about all that oxygen. Uh, you know what? We don't even have the room for this as I... Yeah, okay. But I want to harvest it. I'm willing to allow this base to continue to exist, provided its name gets updated. Pink Nitrogen. Little Pink Nitrogen, really, is what it should say. Okay, there you go. Uh, the, the day to make this base better is not today, but that day will arrive. Eventually. No nitrogen or dihydrogen jelly here. It doesn't, uh. <laughs> no tritium either. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um. So I think because we've traveled to it now, that base should. Okay, it just. It says the old name. That's fine. Uh, Suzan base? Sure. We'll check that out. Boiling monsoons. As I am dropped onto a high mountain in the middle of a boiling monsoon. <laughs> And no, no frame of reference. What have we done? Well, I guess first things first before we make a snap decision. No power hotspot. B level mining. B level gas cloud. Pretty close by. Oh, yeah. Look at these creatures of the forest. I don't think there's a whole lot of value here. Nafael? Right, is it... Is it gonna be... Lytophora, high energy planet, glacial planet, overgrown planet. I just, I don't. You know what that means. Deleted. I I just I can't help but wonder like what was I thinking? What was going through my mind? It makes me want to go back and find the episode. But no. It has no benefit. And it's not really near anything. There must be some sort of beauty to this planet. Perhaps on the day side, not in a storm. Yeah, you know what? Let's swing down, actually. And let's assess this planet not during a storm on the day side. That's probably what I need to see here to fully understand what's going on. Okay, so green green with a lavender sky and is that like red red waters yeah red waters very foggy though very foggy indeed even without an active storm
Hmm. Is the system perhaps high economy? Balanced. Hmm. I may never know. All right, locking onto the space station. Given the fact that all planets in the system are explored, that kind of makes me believe it was during the phase of we're going to explore every planet we see. And I feel like I put down a lot of base computers during that time. Like I just had this vision that I would be backtracking to all of these places to build to build bases. It's it's almost I feel like this is a a reflection on the different stages that you go through as you play this game until you start to really really wrap your head around what this game is and and how to really enjoy it and and the truth about really enjoying this game is tapping into what you want All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna take that rust in a heartbeat actually I think we need a couple of these, sure. But it's about it's about finding what is what speaks to you. And when I was putting down all of these bases at all of these locations, it was very much like I thought that's what I had to do. I mean, I don't know. I really did think I was going to come back and build at all of them. Okay, this one has a name it infers we've traveled to it more than once. Curious. And... Huh. So... Nice, <laughs> I guess. I don't. <laughs> um, uh, without a portal terminus, it just sort of dropped us in the middle of the ocean. Oh, oh, oh! I remember this base. It was. Oh, oh! It's not connected, right? So this was prior to when you had to link short-range teleporters. So let's go ahead and link this one with its counterpart, which. I believe is straight up top, if I'm not mistaken. My base off planet. Is there another base on this? What? Okay. How interesting. What I'm not sure of is. There's no... Okay, no, it does say... No nearby hotspot. So there's literally just no nearby hotspots of anything here. And I built it... For what purpose? Because of the beauty? It is... It is... It does have a beauty. I'll give it that. Oh, it's a... Desert planet, salvageable scrap, cadmium. So this also has every planet explored, but it was obviously... It was obviously powered, and there we go. Teleporter takes us up here to the batteries of the solar panels and our landing pad, and it's just sort of out here. If I recall... You know, I'm, I'm tempted to leave this base because it actually, while it has no value, it actually does have something here. What I'm really curious about is this off-planet base. Hold the phone. 
shall we? Because, no, that's... There it is. What is going on over here? Incandescent planet. Is this a uncharted system? Because I don't... Yeah. Uncharted red star system. You know what we should do? We should run an anomaly detector while we're here. And look how far away this planet is. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Stop. Is this... Is this close to the Thranxian Expanse? Is that, is that what's going on? Because look at all these different... It seems like a lot of stars explored in this one little area here. Perhaps not. What is this? Stellar intelligence? Stimulus life form depolarize impulse local observe repolarize rest uh, disconnect the communicator. This very much reminds me of something very specific. Should I stay away from it? I don't. It's zero. Should I get tangled up in its in its stuff here? No, it doesn't it doesn't mind. I think it would be it would be a little less busy without the uh, asteroids. That's just that's just intense right there. I don't know about that. How bizarre. It didn't really tell us anything either. I don't know how many of these sort of weird space anomalies there are, but but I seem to I seem to get new ones quite often in these uncharted systems. We're still 45 seconds away from the base. Wow. New Royal App. Incandescent planet. I wonder if, because I know at some point we built a base that was trying to harvest, oh, it wasn't on that planet. A redacted moon. Okay, and there is something here. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's one of these, right? Oh, there is stuff here. A good bit, actually. Right, we, we built a few things here. What is, oh, Red Dawn. Interesting. Large refiners, Let's see if we left any, any goodies in here. A bare bones, a bare bones approach to living. <laughs> oh, how quaint! And what do we have in here? A functioning terminus. 
That's fun. Let's let's erase all of this sand and and debris out of our base. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh. Well, shoot. Let's see what's in the storage tanks. Oh wow. Yeah. Those are some large birds of prey. Migratory female eats petals. What's that say? Sheds and regrows bones. Storing phosphorus. Um. Oh. Oh, phosphorus. Okay, well that's handy. I guess that's probably why we kept this base, right? Let's see. I'm curious what sort of gas cloud this is. Because I think if it's radon or sulfurine, we're actually going to stay and build onto this base. Maybe. It is neat to have a stack of phosphorus at our fingertips, though. I kind of, I rather like that. Oh, incoming storm. We've done it now. There we go. As long as it's not something we already have. Oxygen. Yeah, I, I expect it as much. So then that makes me even more curious about the underwater algae base. Was I just trying out new things? I think this was the first actual... Because look at how the storage is just all over the place. <laughs> this was... This was like our very first base where we said, Hey, let's check out this infrastructure. We did put a flag down, though, so... That's cool, at least. And a place for the Azure Spark? Sure, I mean... Yeah, I I accept these terms. Well, this base deserves to live, and hopefully now it'll say um, Red Dawn. Red Dawn. There we go. And underwater algae observatory. Okay, so we are getting them. We are getting them labeled and listed properly. Magnetic personality has been renamed, so that makes me think it. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh. I, too, like to live dangerously. <laughs> what the actual heck? Um, okay, first of all, this confronts the crud out of me. I'm thinking we immediately need a... Yeah. An electrical cloaking unit. And then I'm thinking... I'm thinking we need to smother this thing perhaps is that a is that a possibility maybe if we could just okay well I don't know if the if if, we're, if, if, it, if it likes what I'm trying to accomplish here let's just gosh now now I dare say it looks it looks slightly worse okay let's just leave it like that. <laughs> this this confronts me a little bit <laughs> but I think we'll leave it because 370 an hour because it is a stack of magnetized ferrite I mean that's it's not gonna fill back up quickly but that's gotta be worth something right I think we can all certainly agree that a stack of magnetized ferrite is something I don't wow I think we're gonna send this straight to the freighter I know where that can go
And it's it's bubbles, you know. I can't um I can't deny that the uh the bubble worlds do something to me. I and I don't I don't like to change the time of day often, but I'm going to for this one. Yeah. I think we should... Well, I was going to say look around for bubble decorations, but now I'm not so sure. Where are we getting our power from is the real question. B level deposit. Yeah, right? Because we're, we're right on top of it. Concentrated gas cloud. That's likely going to be yet another. What is powering this? I don't understand. 38 minutes to fill up storage. I mean, I feel like... I feel like I should put down another one or two if I'm going to leave this base. Alright, hold on. Let's let's go inside. It's batteries. It's got to be solar panels then. Oh. This was also before teleporters had to be connected via cables. All right, let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, we're definitely leaving this place. This is this is something, sure. All right, so then it's pretty obvious that it's solar panels on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few more solar panels, a few more batteries, and then we'll expand. Ooh, four might be enough for what we're trying to pull here, though. Mm, you know what? Let's just... I don't think anybody ever said, Wow, I wish I had fewer solar panels. Uh, well, maybe, maybe that's not, maybe that's not accurate. It's actually very possible somebody has said that. Oh, look, it placed the, the feet bracing this thing up like it's supposed to look. Look at that. All right, and then we'll just put, even if we just put one more mineral extractor, we will have effectively doubled the time it takes for this to fill up, and it's just one stack. I don't think we necessarily need or want more than that, right? No, let's let's try to make let's try to make it look a little bit like we want them lined up, like we cared a little bit about what's going on in their lives. Okay, so now. 18 minutes till it's full. That's that's pretty respectable. If I run through a stack of magnetized metal in 18 minutes, then I can come back and do more. But without a geomagnetic power spot, I think this is as good as it gets. This is not so bad. Magnetic personality. Interesting naming convention. Uh, let's check the trade terminal. Mm, nope. That's about it there. Oh, okay, well... Well, shoot, uh, let's go ahead and upload the base. I think we'll leave the naming convention in its place. And, uh, no terminus, though. Um, you know what? I bet we could fit one here. Right after we make a couple carbon nanotubes. No, uh, stop. That was 
Wrong location. Wrong location. I was a little quick to put that down. There. Now, does that preclude our vision? Let's see. If I come through here, is it... Uh, it's a little bit much. Maybe... You know what? I don't think we need all these couches. I don't necessarily want that there. I would like that here. Right? And then... Oh, that is the nice view, though. Right? Right through that window. Yeah, that's... That's kind of the nice view. So we'll do no couch there, so you can actually look out the window, and then... Yeah, I think we're just going to put it right back where it was, actually. Very good. Okay, what next? The Rosny Outpost? Sure, I accept these terms. Golden broad clouds of wait power connector power connector okay so I had pre-planned this enough to connect power to it no mineral hot spot no atmospheric oh wait wait Okay, so according to my auditory scanners, the atmospheric hotspot is in this direction. I'm pretty sure it's... it has to be oxygen on this base, though, does it not? I'm fairly certain this location was chosen purely for its oddity. Sort of... Deep blue... Oh. Oh, that's a predator. Uh, that's a large predator. Okay, hold on, hold on. That could be a predator. It's skittering awful quickly. Cold-blooded steals from others... Yeah, we're locking onto the prey. I think that is another predator. Another fauna. Well, obviously we found the fauna location. Poor sense of direction. C-class mineral deposit. I don't know if there's any minerals here that we care about. Cadmium, phosphorus, silver, not necessarily. This is a fairly alien planet, for sure. It's got this weird particulate in the air. What, did I overshoot it? No, I did, didn't I? All right, and I'm 99% sure it's going to be O2. Sulfurine. Really? And we're next to a power spot, and the base is uh, in a weird location. Um... Yes. I think so. I I really do. Let's let's put our oh um Well, it'll be marked on our screen. Interesting. So then, yeah, we can do sulfurine. We could also gather from animals here if we were so inclined. Okay. This is quite a bizarre 
planet. What do we have? A pillared planet, a contoured planet. Interesting that we have two other anomalous planets here in this system we can gather decorations from if we need be. And this allows us to source our sulfurine without having to go to a traditional planet. It gives us a use for a very bizarre uh, mega exotic planet. And also, it's, it's one of the visually oddly colored um, planets without... I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. No, we're not going to be able to do this at all. This is going to be a short-range teleporter type situation. This actually gives us a very good use for Yes, uh, so so it turns out you can't build as far as you can see with um with industrial stuff, so Um, but this gives us a wonderful use for for our uh, mega exotic planet, which is very exciting. There, that works. So now all we have to do is get our gas extractor over there. This is not going to be a thing. Let's... Hmm. Yeah, it's going to end up being a... short-range teleporter there. And then I think we'll be able to... Ooh, not quite close. Are we... Are we near the top of our, our crest here, sort of? I think this will do it. I know we could just call our ship and do it that way, but... Yeah, why Why do we need to do it that way if we can just... Yeah, buzz up here and go like this. Boom. Right? We'll click on that location and take it all the way to... that location. Okay. And then, yep. Electrical cable to here and here to there. All right. Now not only is it connected, that should also bridge us close enough that we can put our actual extractor over here. Oh, metal plating. Well, that's okay. Because I assure you, if there's one thing we can do, it is metal plating. And I'm thinking we'll just do like that. Get out our build camera, and then we'll just swing over here. And let's see, if we just go one and two. I mean, it's nothing we need a, a large amount of. 
four should really be fine. Now I know that I knew that crab predator was going to come after us at some point. Oh no, it's another predator. What the heck? Respires inorganically. This is the place of nightmares. Ugh, and it's it's death knell comes after it's dead. Mm. I'm I'm sure we can be a little more accurate with the placement here now that we Hold on, let's zero in on this, right? Right here. So I don't normally like to mess with the terrain too much here, but I think in this case we will. Yeah, it it definitely gives it a bit of this unnatural feeling. So at this point, we're sort of standing right on top of it right here. And then we'll do one really close to it. And then another one. And then I think we can get rid of you and do another one right here. So make our custom marker go away. Mm, I'm not too worried about power lines because we we are going to hide these with our wonderful little cosmetic power line hiding device. What a bunch of really bizarre creatures. Ouch. This is out of control. Did I connect that up twice? Is that what I did? It looks like I did. Let's just delete this one then. Yeah, they're very much still powered. Sulfurine! Oh, this is something that has been bothering me for a while, and then all we'll need to do is source some radon. I don't know why it's been bothering me. We don't really use it for anything, but... Oh my goodness. Would you look at the time. I dare say that's going to be where we wrap this one up. We'll have to continue giving our our little sulfurine area here a home in the next episode, but until then, take care.